What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In the 13w39 snapshot, Mojang added the command block minecarts, which can execute um, commands like normal command blocks, but they don't get activated by redstone, um, they get activated by activator rails, and redstone cracked one of my subscribers, who also does great videos, uh, link is in the video description, had an idea to create an easy structure spawner using these um, just by having a lot of these minecarts summoning entities and spawning structures um, at a position all on the same activator rail and then just activating them using a button and he wanted somebody to write a filter and I said yes I can do that and here I am if I click that green button see up there it spawns a floating island with normal blocks entities and um, cows are entities and even um, tile entities the sign has, t has a tile entity which says what stands on the sign and this is pretty great and for some reason my game was just having a mega lag and I can even undo this just by clicking this button and the cows are just dying, poor cows. Um, so this just replaced the whole structure with air again and obviously it's not down here um, but I can teleport to where the structures are and here I am the reason why I have the structures away from uh, where I want the um, I want the thing that gets spawned to have is because if you look at the minecarts, there are around 200 or 300 of them st um, just on this one rail, and if they get rendered, and they do so, if you look at them, the game lags as hell. So I just moved them to the spawn chunks and summoned an item that falls on this pressure plate and despawns just right after to um, spawn and delete the structures. Um, you can, after creating the structure using my MC edit filter, move it anywhere you want. Just make sure to delete the remaining entities, which are these my cards. I have like 5 FPS at the moment, but inside of um, these command blocks, uh, my command block my cards, everything that has to be done gets done and I think this is a pretty great filter and I'll just head over to MC Edit and show you how it's done. So here in MC Edit you just go to the world and select the region you want to spawn and have a spawner. I'll just do it like this. Do not select more than necessary because this eats up some uh, memory on your computer. Then you hit filter, go down to tiny structure spawner and here you can select the spawner's relative position um, where you want to have the spawners located in relation um, to the selection box. Here you can decide whether you want to have the entities, in our case the cow spawned and if you want to have a spawner and or a deleter. Um, once you have made your options, made your choices, you hit filter and you see up there it created the spawners. Then you just hit save and it's done. Okay, back here in Minecraft you see we have these structures up there. Um, using these we can spawn this um, hill of dirt and grass and stone and cows but um, you should definitely hide the command block minecarts somewhere um, down the ground beneath and um, because if you look at them they get rendered and because there are so much minecarts um, you see it makes the game lag but anyway um, I'll just despawn the whole structure oh poor cows we're flying and I can spawn it again like this and you see this is 
Uh, uses really no space and the cars should just stop glitching in a few seconds. Um, this takes up no space and it's instant. Yeah, here are the cows. And it supports tile entities, entities and every block. Um, you should just notice that if you take too many um, blocks to create Minecraft won't load the world because of the uh, minecarts being too much that are getting rendered. I once had a um, map with over a thousand because I wanted to try it with many blocks but that didn't, didn't even load my world so just try to split it up if you want to have um, that many or just try to spawn smaller regions. Okay, so that's about it for this video again. Thanks for watching.